at this spot where I sent all these does the other day in the last video. They've since then they've cut the corn up here on top of the, the ridge. And uh, so they're not really bedding in here that much. I'm not sure if they are at all. I've got a camera that I put out last time I hunted. But this stupid memory card reader that I got won't read it, so but I can tell by the times of the pictures that there's been some deer here in the morning. I made a mock scrape where that buck was scraping last year, so I'm really just hoping and got a prayer. Maybe the good Lord will bless me this morning. Got a northwest wind, which is perfect for this spot. Unless the deer come from back here behind me, and they have before. Um, from looking at pictures, I can tell that they've come from there before, but I don't feel like they will today. And uh, the only bad thing is my access to this spot. I still have to come in kind of where the deer come from. So I tried everything I could to get my scent gone. And I even sprayed just regular dopey on the bottom of my feet. I didn't, I don't have any estrus dopey yet. Plus it's a little early, but uh, I just wanted to, you know, be familiar with the deer, hopefully, just enough to maybe get a shot off. Um, not really much else to tell you. Like I said, it's super, super early. And, uh, hopefully I didn't bust anything coming in here. I never seen any. Never heard anything. Just walked up on a coon. That's about it. And I tried to be quiet as I could. I made a little more noise than I wanted to. That's one reason why I wanted to get here early as I could. Just in case I made a little noise, it could calm down and everything go back to the way it was. So, I'm gonna sit here and enjoy this beautiful, beautiful night, waking up in the morning. Listen to all the animals come to life. Squirrels, birds, and Lord willing, a deer. So, see you when it gets daylight. It's after nine o'clock now. Um, first thing this morning, I had this little buck come through. And he did exactly what I thought they were gonna do, except he kinda got my wind because he snuck in here right behind me. But, uh, wasn't no big deal since it was a small buck. I wasn't gonna shoot him anyways. And luckily he didn't blow or nothing, but he kind of spooked. And just kind of, he still kept going where he was going, but he worked away around me. And pretty sure I know where he was heading. He already kind of starting to check for does. Because there's been this big family of does. I'm pretty sure that's what I seen in here when the standing corn was still here. But the other day I hunted up on the field after they cut the corn. And I seen them kind of out in the woods bedded up. 
laying out there in like a little island of you know woods pretty small but uh it was kind of funny this morning because i was i was like man that sun coming up is beautiful it just popped over the the rise out there and so i turned the camera around and was filming back here behind me well then there was a squirrel kind of hopping around right in front of me and i was like well i'm just gonna get some b-roll while i'm doing this so i filmed the sun turned around and started to film the squirrel and just like kind of out of my peripheral just like right here beside me I just see this deer walking and I'm like shoot that's a buck and about the time I grabbed my camera and tried to get on him that's my wind was blowing straight right here and that's he, he got right to that point and he just hopped off about 30 yards but man it's been a beautiful morning I'm gonna sit here about another 20 or 30 minutes Ooh, a little chilly. I've been waiting to get a little chilly. It hadn't been that way this year. It's been nothing but hot, mosquitoes, rainy. This is the first day it's actually felt like good deer hunting weather. So, who knows? Maybe old big boy will still cruise through here, but if he don't, I'll be back. So, I guess I'll see y'all next time.
Well, just to do a little wrap up interview, um, close this video out. Um, uh, been hunting in Kentucky a few days and you, I don't know if I really told it much in the video, in the opening interviews that I had, but I have a, a pretty good buck coming and hitting that scrape. And last year it was around this same time that he started daylighting it. So I'm hoping that, uh, that one of these days he slips up of course he didn't in this video but um i did have a couple i did see a couple bucks in there so a couple little bucks had a spike on me this morning and it was kind of cool to watch him go over there to that scrape and he jumped up on his two front feet and was all up in the limb and uh ended up walking right out in front of me he uh kind of got my, my wind was blown bad this morning it the forecast has been completely awful the past couple mornings it said that it's going to do one thing if you look at the hourly it says one thing and then if you look at what what it is at right now it's another thing and then what it really is is something completely different so i don't know how you could be that far off um but anyways we're going to keep after it me and larry's going over to the hills monday him and cody got into them yesterday had deer all around them and I don't know what it is about just two hours away, but they're already chasing and stuff and running and getting up cruising. So, and Monday's supposed to be real good and cool. So that's probably the next time you'll see us. Lord willing, we got another video coming from then because I hope we kill a couple things, maybe a couple does. There's good bucks all in there too. So who knows? It's one of them days anything could happen. So we'll, hopefully you'll be watching that video soon, but this is going to close this one up appreciate you for watching don't forget to subscribe like them comment i love to comment back though talk about hunting stuff and i just enjoy it so anyways like subscribe comment and like i said appreciate you for watching